When building a Windows 98 retro gaming PC, there are lots of options when it comes to storage. You can use a classic ID hard drive, SD or compact flash card adapters, or a ID to SATA adapter like I'm using here in combination with a fairly modern mechanical hard drive. This drive is from Seagate. I've been using this in many projects in combination with C tools. This program allows you to limit the capacity to 32 gigabytes on that drive and that is perfect for Windows 98. That way you're avoiding any issues with the drive having a capacity that is too large for Windows 98 to understand. But what if your hard drive is from Western Digital? The Seagate C Tools software will not function on these drives. Here we have a Western Digital 4 terabyte SATA hard drive and also a 500 gigabyte SSD. And I'm gonna show you another method that lets you limit the capacity on these drives in order to install Windows 98 without any issues. And what you need to do is go into the BIOS and change the hard drive options. Set it to manual and to CHS, which stands for cylinders, heads and sectors. And we will manually enter specific values. The first option will give us a 504 megabyte capacity. We are entering 1024 for cylinders, 16 for heads and 63 for sectors. And I will put the capacities on the screen. So this is a fairly small capacity. It's probably best to use it with MS-DOS and FAT16 if you playing some older games. What is nice about these small capacities is the formatting and the partitioning takes uh, very little time. It happens really quickly. This matters to me with my testing. If I have a 120 gigabyte partition and I format that with the MS-DOS tool, then it takes forever. Now, if you want a larger capacity, try these settings, 1024 cylinders with 255 heads and 63 sectors. That should give you a capacity of 7.844 gigabytes. Partitioning and formatting is still going pretty fast, definitely faster than a huge 120 gigabyte drive. So this could be a nice compromise with fairly decent storage as well as uh, fast formatting and partitioning. And later I tried playing around with the cylinders. I doubled them to 2048 and that gave me double the capacity, around 15 to 16 gigabytes. I loaded the drive, I was using the SSD. I loaded the drive full with games, didn't get any errors. Uh, the games, I just tested some games from the beginning and from the end of the storage and they also worked just fine. So yeah, there are a couple of options for you to play around with. So guys, this is probably not the best way of using storage with a Windows 98 retro gaming PC, but it's another option. Maybe this solves your problem. I have a lot of larger capacity hard drives lying around. So yes, I understand using a four terabyte drive is a little bit of a waste, but think for forward uh, 10 years, 20 years time, if you want a mechanical hard drive, then maybe these sort of capacities is the only thing that you can get your hands on. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's another tool in the toolkit. Really curious to see um, if you have done something similar, entering BIOS CHS parameters for the hard drive to limit capacity. Uh, if you did, let us know. Really eager to hear. And yeah, that's it. A short and sweet video tutorial. Let me know what you think. And um, thanks for subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And leave a comment down below. Looking forward to seeing you again in a future video.